G'day, g'day. Wolf, how are we going? Hey, I'm pretty good. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks, man. Um, so, I mean, look, been a few weeks since the last installment. Mm -hmm. Fair bit's happened mm -hmm. in the world. Um, today is currently, we're recording this at 11 a.m. on the 7th of November in Australia. So, um, for anybody tuning in overseas, um, we are just post US election. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. This, yeah, it seems appropriate to upload another one of these. I yes. Guess. Yeah. Um, so, what's our, you know, how are you feeling with everything? Oh, just like, where do we go from here? You know what I mean? Like, I think that's a really good question. Yeah, it's just. Uh, when you know the weeks leading up to election like I was f kind of feeling confident mm -hmm. you know I felt like yeah I, I felt like Harris had something that neither Biden or Clinton had mm -hmm. or you know to be specific Hillary Clinton because mm -hmm. she um yeah I don't know but uh, I, I think again it's just um like the U.S. campaign policy, well, talking points. Mm. I feel like uh, I don't want to be too early to do this blame game sort of thing, but I feel like it's, uh, um, yeah. Or I don't know. Well, have you ever had, had, had any thoughts leading up to the election of, okay, if Donald Trump did win, which he has, mm. what what would what do you think is the next best? Um, Scenario. So, well, what, what, what do you think that you can do as a person to like to help deal with that, but also, okay, you know, like still be progressive. You know what I mean? Or still like send out a positive message in some way? Okay. Because I think that's what we need to stuff like that is what we need to be working looking at. Right. I think that's a great you know? uh, question. Well, I mean, look, um, non US US citizen, but you know, very uh, invested in global politics, um, which I think you know. A lot of us are, especially when it comes to you know America and you know Russia, China, that sort of thing. I think uh, we're all closely related, even if it's not our election or our country. We do see fallouts from you know what happens in those countries mm -hmm. in our country. Yeah. So I think that's an important thing to to preface because a lot of people you know jump on that. Oh, you don't fucking live there. Why do you care? Mm -hmm. Well, it's the most powerful country in the world. And okay. Our economy is directly aligned with that. Exactly. <laughs> so we have like a, a joint military base in the middle of our country called Pine Gap that's owned by the U.S. Like, you yeah, know, it's, it's a we're very closely aligned. Yeah. It might as well be Area Fifty One. Literally. You know. Literally in the outback. Yeah. It's in, just kangaroos getting around instead of coyotes. <laughs> that's it, exactly. Exactly. Don't fuck with kangaroos. Anyway. No. No. They will. Um, yeah. So anyway, so I just wanted to preface saying that, but. I think the first thing that's important to do is acknowledge that, um, you know, on, on good faith, unless, you know, evidence is presented otherwise, that um, democracy did its thing. Uh, Trump won. He won by, the, you know, what's looking like the popular vote. And, you know, that's that. That's that's the point of democracy. We don't like it, but it happened. It, yeah. It's... Um, what I'm glad that we aren't seeing yet, touch wood, is, you know, some sort of insurrection, like what did happen with... Uh, conservatives in America after Trump lost I think the most important thing that we can first do is concede peacefully that the election was won by Trump and that he's going to take power on January 20th or whatever it is mm -hmm. um, you know and there's there's nothing we can do about it now the democracy did its job and the people voted yeah so that's the first thing that I really think that we need to acknowledge as, as hard as that is to swallow we don't want to be going down that path of, oh, fucking election interference and shit until there's a credible, you know, unless there's a credible, you know, fact yeah. trail leading to that. And um, and who knows? There, there, there might be. Well, know, I mean, I mean, there was there was calls of, uh, you know, there was, there was reports of Russian calls uh, to polling centres, you know, threatening bomb scares. And, yeah. And if people like Elon Musk are investing, like, hundreds of millions of dollars worth... What was he doing? A million dollar lottery as well? For yeah, every like if day. that's not election interference, I don't know what is. You well, know? apparently it was. He just uh, he, he was called by the Department of Justice to go and uh, answer in court. He just didn't show up because, you know, billionaires can just do that. Of course they can. <laughs> of course they can. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
which is why like if i see someone like doing petty theft or whatever like that yeah it's like yeah look look hold that person accountable but it, unless that person's like a billionaire like elon musk like they're not gonna care if they get caught. You know what I mean? What's like a twenty, like a two hundred dollar speeding ticket to them? What's the? It's nothing. You know what I mean? It's and, like losing, you know, a five dollar note out of your wallet. Yeah, and like keep in mind, like this isn't me being jealous of billionaires because I wouldn't want to be a billionaire. You know what I mean? Like I don't want to be. I don't like, have to do the things that I would have to do to be a billionaire. Yeah, I, I don't want to feel like I can't trust anyone, or no. like well, the only people I can trust is just politicians that happen to be in my pocket. Yeah, and just being, like. You know, respond like I reckon. Yeah, like for a billionaire, for, yeah. for like Elon Musk, it's like, well, I fucked over like fifty people. You know, yeah. might as well keep going. You Just know what I mean? Going. Yeah. It's like it's the same as a serial killer. Well, I've already killed like five people. Yeah. You know, same <laughs> prison time if I get caught. Yeah. And, and studies have shown that's like after a few kills, then they start getting more aggressive with it. Yes. Like the Zodiac killer. Um, but anyway. That's a different story, sort of. Yes, um, digression. But, You'll have a lot of those digressions on this show. We like to digress. Digress, yes. Yeah. But, um, and and yeah, I, I suppose it's just, you know, a part of it's just, yeah, waiting to see what happens. I, I hope, I hope we can, um, like, see, like, a peaceful transition of power, despite, like, yes. like you know, I'd, it's not the way that I want it, but I'm hoping we... Well, like the, uh, I, I, I just tell you my take on, you know, what I f I plan on doing mm. is just um, doing what I can to n help my well myself. You know, you know, it starts with you, I guess, mm. in terms of trying to progress, I suppose. Mm. But you know, just don't well don't don't put rely too much anymore on what governments do or what they say mm. because the silver lining to all of this mm. is like the difference between what's happening now and back in the day like say the 1950s or 1940s right is that you know it's not like it's it's not as easy for propaganda machines to just post you know just put out their yes. agenda like it's a lot more people like even people on the right or even people like um, who, you know, or people that you might not necessarily agree with, we are becoming like a lot better at critical thinking in terms of outsourcing our own f information and thinking for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and, and yeah, and, and keep in mind, like, um, Trump won as well through um, uh, the electorate vote. Yes. Like, he didn't win the popularity. He's never won the popularity. Yeah, we don't know at this point. Well, still, well, still the numbers are still out, but you're right. The last time he didn't. He, last time he didn't. I don't think he has yet. Yeah, I think you're, you're right. right. Mm. Um, and so, stuff like that is what gives me, like, you know, the, 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 this, there's a lot of people out there that, that are reasonable. Yes. Um, I would say there are even a lot of conservatives out there that are reasonable. I don't... This is a hard, hard line to walk, but I don't typically, um, I don't even demonize everybody that voted for Trump. Like, I, I feel that there are a lot of disillusioned people out there that don't quite know what the solution is to the problem that they're in or that mm. their country's facing. Um, and Trump kind of led his campaign on just saying that he was going to fix everything. And literally just saying, we're going to fix it all. We're going to fix everything. We're going to fix the borders. We're going to fix the economy. We're going to fix everything. Mm. But there's a lot more nuance to it than just saying, we're going to fix the borders. We're going to fix the economy, isn't there? Yeah, he, he's, he's pretty much known for just saying, yeah, that's pretty much his whole strategy. He's, he's a just, great, smooth talker. I can't he, fault him on that. He, he, he just says really simple stuff. Yeah. And people go, oh, I can digest that, yeah. you know? Um, and, he, and like even Tr Trump was one who said, you know, you tell the masses something over and over again, they start to believe it, even That's if true. it's a lie. Yep. And um, so... You know so who else said that? Hitler. Hitler. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, but again, like, it, like, it's gone of the days where all we're really seeing is, like, the occasional, like, just, you know, headline from Hitler or the one, one or two speeches that he's had where he looks like he has tens of thousands of people and that... Yes. I forget the name, but like actually studied this doing film at uni. Yep. 
um, saying how, like, like that that photographer, or like that cinematographer, I can't remember her name. Oh, Lenny Riefenstahl. Yeah, like, yeah. Props to her. Like, she knows how to like do oh, bloody oath. Bloody you know oath. I mean? She knows how to set up a shot. He looks powerful in those films, man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And like Triumph of the Will. Yeah, yeah, Triumph of the Will. He's like standing there with all those people behind him, like. Yeah, but it's but like the status quo has changed to such a degree where like stuff like that isn't going to work. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Well, at least, but also, um, just uh, uh, just on the point, I also just want to quickly just answer a question um, I was having a conversation with just the other day okay. where someone said, like, uh, like uh, I was sort of like um, talking about Trump and we're talking about abortion rights or mm. whatever. But um, like it, like to, it, we're really talking about, you know, whether or not Trump is a viable candidate for right. the presidency. Yes, I'm and, down. and so, and like I sort of made the point, like, and someone was making the point of like, oh, you know, what if women just start using abortion as a means of contraception? I mean, like, it isn't a bit <sighs> messed up. It's like, um, and, and you know, like, there's a lot to say about that. Like, like, there's very rarely is a woman gonna you know, take that route just I'm to be like... I'm and I find that offensive. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? It's just like, that's... That's re- that's absurd. That's, yeah, it is. It's even like, if 0.1% of women are doing that, that's not indicative of women as a whole. No, and, right. it, and even if, like, say, 10% or 20%, that's yeah. like saying, well, because people drink drive, you know, we should get rid of cars. You know what I mean? Yeah. And <laughs> That's but, funny, yeah. But they asked me the question, like, and also um, raised the point that, well, Donald Trump, well, he's a fascist. Like, th- th- there's no two ways about it. Like, everything he has said and done, like, like back in 2016, it was all kind of hypothetical. He's really only just saying things that were kind of fascist. Yeah, dipping his toes in the water. Yeah, but yeah. now he, like, everything he has done <laughs> has been fascist rhetoric. And like this person asked me the question, oh, what has that got to do with abortion rights? It's like, well, abortion, like that's that's one of the key components of fascism. Mm. It's like taking away rights and freedoms. Yeah, especially yeah, especially ones that were previously had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what is it for? Like, why? Like, why are we putting so much emphasis on human life? Because the ruling class need that human, human mm. that life to fuel. Like, they need the. Like, the working, they the, need the working class. Yeah, they need like people. You so I, mean? I don't know if you um, have heard about this, and I could I'll, I'll pull something up on this in a minute. Um, we can react to it in real time. But it, uh, Elon Musk is a known uh, eugenicist. Like he is kind of he wants to create perfect offspring, pretty much. But he, he's a big uh, supporter of people need to to breed. People need to get out, and they need to have kids. Everyone needs to be having kids right now, and not just one or two kids as many as you can support. And he said that, and I mean, you can just see how many kids has he got with how many different women. Oh. It's a lot, right? I don't even know about that, to be honest, but. Oh, it's crazy, man. Yeah, right. I think it's it's like five or six kids, I think he's got. Um, anyway, so. Do they all have weird names? They got weird names. <laughs> um, they're really nice people, I'm sure. Um, you know, a lot of them hate him, which says a lot. <laughs> wow. I mean, he's got a, he's got a trans daughter. Um, oh. And, like, yeah, he's, he, he came out and said um, that the woke mind virus killed his son. <laughs> his son's not dead. His son is now his daughter because they're trans. Oh, he would rather think of them as dead than okay. as trans. Oh, my God. That's the, that's the human we're dealing with, man. Yeah. So, yeah. anyway, he's started funding a camp, right, where you can go and just breed so that they can buff the working class. I'm going to pull it up right now just because it is such an... Uh, it's it's unbelievable. That's... Wow. I, yeah, I, I honestly... I had no idea about any of this. But also, as, as well, like, just a... Um, just a message to, like, men out there, like, that are still sort of, like, unsure about the whole abortion thing. It's just, like, if you're really dead set on this belief of, a, like, you know, like, we should have all, like be really restrictive when it comes to women's right to, you know, what, what, their reproductive rights and all that sort of stuff. It's like, well, you better be the most fucking, like, a man that is, like, ve- like, s- stable as shit as far as monetary, like, yes. monetary, like, you better be, like, 
the best fucking father. Alpha male, like, yeah. galore. You might as well be, like, the combined, the combined forces of, like, Jesus and Keanu Reeves and Moist Critical or whatever. Combined. Whoa. I you wouldn't even imagine the power level of that. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Like, you <laughs> would have to be, like, top tier yeah, dude. That's like, a you would have to dude. be, like, the best good look. Like, because, I mean... I would fuck that dude. I'm completely straight. Yeah, unless, of course, you would decide, well, yeah, I'm just going to be abstinent for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, yeah, like, it's, it's you know, it's a, it's a that's, that, that's... That's the thing. It's just like anyway. I, I just wanted to put that out there because no, I totally agree. Um, it's just I, I feel like now, like more than ever, is the time where you know this sort of stuff needs to be said. Like, Absolutely, the, we need to like maybe put more emphasis on why stuff like this is important. Yeah, you know. Anyway, um, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I no, just wanted please. to like you know. I think that was a good uh, thing to talk about. So anyway, this is something I read the other day. Okay, so this is an article from um, Inverse. Um, this is just the first one I pulled up, but there was a bunch of other articles on this. And it's kind of highlighting what we're just talking about, but, um, you know, as we're talking about Elon Musk, he's, he's a big um, believer in the theory of population collapse, where we're going to get to the point where humanity is unable to st sustain itself, to st sustain its population. And really, at the crux of it, we're, we know the reason why that worries him. Yeah. It's because he needs more workers, he needs more guinea pigs, he needs more whatever, okay? So I was wrong, much higher than five. He's got nine kids. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, what the fuck? But, so this, this is something that came out kind of leading up to the election. So I was a bit um, skeptical. I didn't know whether maybe it was just kind of the left being a bit hysterical or whatever. But no, it seems to have come out that um, he has set up a, a breeding program where he has essentially given massive amounts of his own sperm samples to this clinic he's set up and he you can go to this cl at this clinic and be impregnated with his sperm and have his kids as long as you sign some parental rights away in the future and as long as you um, adhere to like the treatment and the practices of this breeding facility. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's essentially trying to make as many baby masks as he can. <laughs> and now this this is you can't make this shit up. This is crazy, man. This is this is the richest man in the world right now. And so, I, I, everyone listening, I, I I implore you to look this up. Um, what is it like? So that was an inverse article, but there's many articles on it. Just just look up Trump. Uh, Trump. Musk breeding program, and you'll find however many articles on it, right? Yeah. Like, are you able to send me like links Absolutely. to this so I can put them in the description or whatever? Of because, course. Wow. Yeah. That's... There you go. So links. We'll put links down the bottom in the description, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, wow, that's like far out. Right. So that's the type of people we're dealing with here. Well, but like, if he if he's truly if he's really worried about the collapse of, you know. Um, yeah, um, like, yeah, so is he worried about the collapse of society or whatever? I think he, he, he puts it under the guise of being worried about society, but really what it comes down to is his bottom line. I mean, how can you exploit non-existent workers? How can you have them running your factories? How can you have them fucking delivering your cars? How can you have them scrubbing your toilets? How, how can you have them raising tax revenue for the country that the president is in your pocket for. I wonder if he's invested a lot of like he a lot of money into like things like cloning. Probably man. Building clones of I, I have no dude, I have no doubt that, that dude is up to some boys level shit, you know? The shit that you see on the boys, Elon Musk is I don't know how they haven't parodied on that fucking show. Because that dude did you see like the the footage of him like coming out of the Trump rallies and shit? Mm -hmm. What is with this dude? <laughs> yeah. Jumping up and doing like jumping jacks and shit on stage. And then like, there's that photo of him like when he's shaking hands with Trump and it's just like, it just looks like he's fucking sold his soul, man. Yeah. Um, because like the other, like one point I was going to make is like as well, um, is like the rise of AI and mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. That's been a bit of a game changer. Like Absolutely. Um, because... 
I mean, you know, it, it comes with its checks and balances as well. Yep. Um, but, and I think maybe, uh, this might be a bit of a conspiracy or, on me, like, you know, I could be wrong, mm. but um, it is a bit telling that of all the people that are no, notable people, it's Elon Musk that's been the most, like, we got to put regulations on this shit. But I don't, yeah, everything he's done suggests that, yeah, he's not trying to regulate it because he thinks it will be, like, humanity will be better off for it. He's trying to regulate no. it because it would mean that, you know, like, all of a sudden, you know, people have access to a, to something that could be revolutionary in, you know, not having to rely on Musk or politicians or, yes. you know, the agendas that they're trying to push for. Like, because, God damn it, that is so weird. That's like, so weird. And, and um, I think it's uh, it's been shown time and time again that he has got kind of a vested interest in not just the now, but is investing in the future of his company and of his name. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, even after he's dead, although fucking, you might be right, maybe he's just got some crazy-ass clones of himself in the works. Like, who knows? We're going <laughs> to see fucking Elon 2.0 in, like, 10 years or some shit. Oh, just man. getting about, like, zzz, zzz, zzz. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, like, you know, he's he, he's working with robotics. Like, he just had a Absolutely. Tesla show where he brought out all this robotics. What about the Neuralink? The fucking implant in the head. Like, that is literally the start of... Um, shared consciousness of uploaded consciousness like the, it's the beginning yeah, yeah, yeah but like yeah it's like I think yeah he's really just saying everyone needs to be regulated except for me yeah. I need to be like kind of. yeah you know everyone just needs to be plugged into yeah what I'm doing and it's just like oh man like dude just stick to SpaceX or something <coughs> I don't know like, I don't think I have ever seen anyone have such a prolific downfall in public favour as I have with Musk. Yeah. He used to be kind of universally loved, really. Mm. And I think the first time that I started to see cracks in him showing, do you remember when those, um, was it those poor, was it in the, it was in Thailand or something? Those boys that got trapped in that cave? Yeah. And it was like, remember that it was like in a, a geyser or something and they got swept into an underwater cave. And some hectic Navy SEAL diver uh, who actually died in the process of saving oh, these boys. Elon Musk attacked him on Twitter before his death, calling him a pedophile. This man swum under under underwater so many times, bringing these boys backwards and forwards. He fucking died, but he saved them, right? Elon Musk went on Twitter and called him a pedophile because Elon was getting on Twitter, grandstanding, saying, yep, I'm 3D printing a submersible that will be able to bring these boys back to the surface, blah, blah, blah. None yeah. of that ever was true. He was yeah. never doing that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was just grandstanding as he does. Mm. This guy called him out, the guy actually doing the work. Elon called him a pedo. He died a day later. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's also quite like... Um, see, Elon Musk has basically shown the face of what the corporate, the ruling class have been doing for fucking hundreds of years now. Yes. Where, so, when something like, say the war in Ukraine breaks out, yep. and Elon Musk... Don't worry, Ukraine. I'll send you Starlink. Starlink. There we go. You got internet. Like you've, I'm so you, glad you brought this you up. can fight back. Yeah. But now he's, but also he's backing the the dude that's most likely to just wipe Ukraine out altogether. Yeah. See, like he's creating the problem, yeah. but then offering the solution. solution. You know what I mean? But it's, but now it's, it's not like it's happening. You know, like behind closed doors yes. now. It's happening out, out in the open. 100%. You know what I mean? Did you... So, the whole Starling thing, right? Again, that was kind of a bit of a grandstanding thing, mm -hmm. like you were just saying. Um, so, yeah, he, he did give Ukraine Starling. Do you remember what happened with that? On the eve of their biggest assault on Russian Navy, Elon Musk got wind of what they were up to, and he cut Starlink at the moment of assault. He stopped Ukrainian forces from being able to defend their country because... He didn't want a devastating attack on the Russian Navy. That's not hearsay. That's yeah. fucking confirmed. I, I, I do, yeah, I do remember, like, it was a while ago, so... It was, it was the start of the war, yeah. Quite remember, but I do remember something similar to that yep. happening. Um, like, I, I, I do remember talking to someone who was kind of sort of, like, justifying it, and I was still at that time going, oh, well, like, Elon Musk, I mean, he's a billionaire, but he's, you know, he's, he's doing what he can to help. Mm. But... 
And I always, even when he started like supporting Trump, I always thought like maybe that's a bit of a ruse because like it, yeah. it, it doesn't really make sense. Like if he's really dedicated, like re like reducing, like telling telling investors like we don't need to invest in things like oil or fossil fuels or whatever. Why is he backing Trump, who's like <laughs> installing climate deniers and stuff as head of the EPA and like doing stuff that's Against, like against all that, like wouldn't that hurt his market in Tesla? So you would think <laughs> so, right? And of course, at a, at a glance, that's what I feel like he probably wants you to think. But the thing is that they're both in each other's pockets. Elon and Trump are in each other's pockets, yeah. right? And you don't donate 134 million dollars to a presidential campaign that you're not getting anything from. So we may not see something that reflects their partnership right now. But we will. Mm -hmm. Just give it time. We will. And even the fact that uh, Trump has made it known that, not made it known, I would say publicly, but he, he is known for being able to be bought. I mean, money is his motivator. It, it's always been his motivator. Yeah. yeah. The richest man in the world teaming up with a guy who has no bigger motivator than money. Right there, you can just see that power dynamic is just built for fucking corruption. Yeah, well, I mean... We'll start seeing tax breaks for Tesla electronic vehicles, but tariffs on every other brand of electronic vehicle. Something like that. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? It, like, even though, like... Um, yeah, there's there's so many other technologies out there that are better than Tesla. Absolutely. You know? um, I think they kind of dropped the ball. They he, had... And again, it goes along with Trump's public image decline. Tesla was fucking seen as the gold standard for a while of electronic vehicles. It really was. Mm. And I don't know, I'm not a car connoisseur, but I'll take the word for it that they were great cars. Yeah. I've heard that the manufacturing quality has declined so far over the years that now even budget electronic vehicles are outclassing the Teslas. So... Well, like, but, but again, like, I reckon just... Um, don't panic. Don't know? panic. Don't panic. It's, um... You know, it's a it's it's a setback. It's it's uh, it's you know, I, I, I say like yeah, it is even, even devastating to a certain degree because it's like Definitely. you know, um, but um, but a, a lot of reasonable people, like including you know who we just watched, Philip DeFranco, yep. and um, like they're saying you know like th th this isn't the end. There, there, there's still safeguards in place. Of course. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's going to, like, Trump would have to do a lot of, like, orchestrative stuff to be able to, like, um, really undermine or just do away with democracy and just install, worst yeah. case scenario, a fascist <coughs> state where, I don't know. There's or, no elections anymore. There are, there's appointed officials or rigged elections or something like that. Look... I'm kind of in the mind of, <coughs> excuse me, I'm kind of in the mind of hope for the best, prepare for the worst. Mm -hmm. um, because look, we, we don't know um, what he's gonna do. We know what he said he's gonna do, yeah. but rarely does that actually become reality. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I don't think the like the war, like, no. the, like the Mexican war never began. No, like they never paid for any of it. Yeah. Like. The wall, so where he kind of gets around this is that the wall was already actually being upgraded. Even before he was saying that the wall was being upgraded because there is a fucking fence between Mexico and the US. There just yeah. is already. Yeah. So, and it was upgraded in some places, strengthened in others. That was already happening before his promises, okay? Mexico didn't pay for any of that. Mm. And it kept going into the Biden presidency as well because that it, it was an infrastructure that needed upgrading. That's just how it was. The Great Wall that was like meant to be a fucking Game of Thrones separating the North from the fucking rest of the kingdom, that never happened. It's a that's just a normal fence. Yeah. It's just a normal fence. Yeah. Also, um, like I don't I don't know if this is true. This is just a um, documentary video I watched on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of like like us, mm. like what Australia might do. Mm. Um, I know. Uh, According to this documentary I've, I saw, mm. was the idea that so Britain, Australia, and Canada okay. will become sort of similar to what the EU is. So, like okay. technically, 
if you're a citizen of any of these countries, you'll be able to like just travel freely or and just live in. That's in cool. The, yeah, but the, and the reason like they want to do that, although it is a bit weird because like geographically, like, of course, so far apart. we are. Yeah, but. The reason why <coughs> I think they want to do that is because one, like it would mean that we're less reliant on America's economy, mm-hmm. and two, um, it would get China off our backs because we're not doing stuff like that will piss them off as much. Because totally. We're not, um, we are geographically quite close to China as well, which is well, yeah. Um, quite and scary yeah, and like and having Trump installed is just going to bolster that. Anonymity even more, you mm. know what I mean? Like, mm. um, so yeah, it's it's just kind of like, um, I mean, just sh- shooting the shit. Like, I'm not a economist. I'm not telling us what, uh, but yeah, I, I think if if there was ever a time we should be sort of like moving our allegiances elsewhere, <laughs> it I would agree, be now, that. man. Like, I, I totally agree. Um, I, I felt like we should have for a long time anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I would. I, Honestly, I would love to see, uh, you know, Australia officially separate from the crown in Britain as well. Like, I would love to see Australia standing on its own two feet, forming our own alliances and bonds. Some would say that that's what we've done, but it's because we have a certain dependence, okay? We have a certain dependence on foreign aid, and especially if military conflicts were to ever arise, just the sheer size of our country and the small nature of our Navy and military and non-existent Air Force... We're, we're at the mercy of having allies. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, although having said that, though, um, I'm pretty sure we have, like, one of the most sophisticated aerial... We do. We do. It's just tiny compared to other air forces of the world. Yeah. Um, I mean, America's air force is, <laughs> like, ridiculous. I don't know how true this is, but I heard that the biggest air force in the world is America's. The second biggest air force in the world is America's navy. <laughs> Yeah, right. The Navy has so many planes that it's its own fucking Air Force. Yeah, well, that would be the downside if we were to, like... Totally. Distance, because, like, America would probably be, like... I think we'll all you know. always be some sort of... Um, obligated in some sort of area to kind of align with America's military interests. I don't see that ever fully changing. Again, like, we are talking about Pine Gap earlier and stuff. Mm, yeah, yeah, exactly, um, exactly. And, you know... We've been fighting alongside each other since World War Two, so like, I mean, that's just a you know we've got a long running history of being comrades, and I, I don't disparage that because we're talking about American soldiers and Australian soldiers, normal people that probably don't really have much of a you know a say in what is going on. They have their vote, but they're yeah. probably just like, hey, this is my job. I go where I'm fucking sent. I yeah. fight who I'm told to fight. Yeah. Um, but I would absolutely love to see Australia standing on its own two feet a bit more um yeah and also as well like i think um even though uh oh yeah i know i'm talking we're, we're talking very co- kind of colonialism here okay. and in all, in, in all honesty in a perfect world i reckon we should be figuring out ways we can bring down borders you know yes um rather than trying to keep them in place um mm. because you know at the end of the day we're all people and often wondered if like if we would benefit if like the world just became its own economy you know what i mean like you're talking about like a unified sort of world government sort of thing oh yeah Uh, because i mean i'm not gonna i I, I know that's a conspiracy kind of thing i don't mean to sound like oh you know alex jones but like no fuck alex jones (laughs) but, but like but the thing is like um I think what, what what people like Alex Jones mean when they say, or oh, you know, New World Order, is that mm. they really are talking about, you know, globalization. Which, Glo- yes. Which is just happening naturally, you know, it's just... Well, it's, it's been happening since the fucking advent of the ship. That's, that's, it was just on a smaller scale. We got steam engines that started to become more of a thing. We got coal engines that started to become more of a thing. We got planes that started to become more of a thing. Mm. Now we've got the internet, it's definitely, you know? Yeah, and... Yeah, AI. You know? Exactly. Um, we don't really know what that future is going to hold yet. We've seen the very beginning of it, but I would say the next 10 to 20 years are going to be quite something for tech. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, also, um, Philip DeFranco did mention a couple of days ago as well, um, he did one bit where, like, the, like, apparently a lot of tech workers in America t- chose, like, probably the worst time to go on strike. Is that right? Yeah, because... Um, like, I, f- I think a lot of people will, will bring that up where, like, because it, it 
that would that actually had a lot of implications as well. Is that right? In terms of the election, because it means okay. that you know we don't have people monitoring what the needle is doing. You know what I mean? So it's mm. like it's kind of up in the air mm. exactly what the polls might have been showing or whatever. Also, yes, another thing like slightly off topic, but yeah, like just I love off topic. But yeah, kind of. I mean, it's sort of relevant, like at least in terms of U.S. electorate stuff. Yep. Is did you hear about the squirrel peanut? <laughs> I did. Devastating, honestly. Oh my like, god! Yeah, but oh. Like the fucking SWAT team seizing him and shit. SWAT team seizing <laughs> him and searching, raiding a house. Yeah. It's like who dispatched that? Did no, some like sheriff just go? Yes, I want this squirrel's head on a platter. Honestly, yeah. imagine listening to the walk and talk. He's like, we got him, we got him. Package acquired, package acquired, man down. Yes, <laughs> like, oh, it, it, like, it's not like Salman Bin Laden, you know what it I mean? It's, it's just... A squirrel. Well, why not just release the squirrel back into the wild? Well, like, why did that... So, from what I heard, uh, correct me if I'm wrong as well, but the reason they ended up putting him down wasn't that they needed to put him down they needed to test him for rabies and the only way you can do that is by cutting the brain out so they didn't uh anyway wolf on that note uh sorry guys we just had a interruption in the studio there on uh, the note of uh peanut the squirrel uh pull out my homie rip um we're gonna leave it there for this week um poor squirrel poor squirrel um poor us but, you know, also, yay democracy. I mean, we may not like the outcome, but we like democracy, so sweet. Yeah. <coughs> we'll talk more about this stuff, I'm sure, in the coming weeks. And um, if you're our friends from the US, stay safe. Over and out. Thanks, Wolf. Yep. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day.